Oh yeah. Hey, what's up everybody? This is Adrian Boysell. I wanted to do a video and show you guys what it's like for a professional graphic designer, somebody that's been doing graphic design for more than 15 years to jump on Canva and use it for the first time. How do I interact with the platform? Is it good? What are the strengths? What are the weaknesses? And I just wanted to do a pretty quick overview. This video might be a little bit longer than some of them, but I promise if you watch it, you're gonna get exactly what you came for. If you're a professional graphic designer and you wanna use Canva, cause you see all these people using it to speed up your jobs or whatever it is that you think that you can get from it, and you wanna try it out, this will be a great video for you to watch. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. So start your first design. What would you like to create? So it kind of really guides you through the process of where you're starting. So it probably gives you some templates. Look at that video, animated social media. For this purpose, I wanted to do something simple. I wanted to do something like stationary, but let me just type in business card. See what happens. Look at that business card. So I've designed thousands of business cards in my life, literally thousands. And so this is gonna be great. So starting with a template, right? So I don't really like templates very much, but then you can customize it. it looks like. This is your uploading your own images. So I'm just gonna make a cool business card, something that I would wanna print, and we'll see how this goes. So these are all the different templates that they have. I'm not a fan of these. There's categories, so you can hit see all, so yoga business cards. That one's pretty cool, that's clean. Um, so they have different categories. Let's see what else they have in here. See, this one's okay, but it's still pretty generic. Like, that's a pretty classic style. I've done some cards like that. I like the back. I'd love to see what the front of this looks like. See, that's pretty good. So it gives you some pretty decent, I would say, not the most amazing, but gives you decent templates to start with. And I just want to go in and pick one of these. I, I don't want to overthink it, but I just want to pick one of these and customize it real quick for you guys to see designing a business card for the first time ever using Canva. So let's give this a shot. So let's just use this one to start with. So. I'm gonna go over in here, I can click on this element. If I wanted to change the color, I just click up in here. I'm gonna use a hex color, so I'm gonna use A42027. That's my color. That's the Adrian Graphics color. You guys have probably seen this. I like that red. Then I would take this here, and whether you're gonna drop your actual logo in, which I'm gonna try to do real quick, I'm gonna hit Uploads, Upload Media, right here, from my device. Adrian Graphics logo. Let's just do this real quick here. See, I have something up here, but they're all JPEGs. What's this? Here's a PNG. So this is actually the, the newer version of my logo too, which is great. So I can click on this and just swap that out. Now I'm gonna need to pull out this other one. Delete that. Oh, that was cool. That's two objects inside of there. I can pull this up now. I can probably make this smaller. Nope, so that crops it. Let's see here. I just gotta pull this in. Yep, see there we go. And it's all proportionate, which is nice. So I put that right around there. And then I can put in here the art and science of marketing, right? And then I could probably, let's see if I can adjust my kerning. So see how you would do that position. So let's see, is this, this, that's size. So how do you adjust the spacing of the letters? Let's see how they do that here. Duplicate. I'm not seeing where you can change the width of the letters. I don't want to keep it like that. I want it to change. There's got to be other other options, right? How did they space it like that? So let me see if I hit alter option and do something. Nope. Command. Nope. Doesn't do anything. So here we go. I'm, this is my first place that I'm stuck as a professional graphic designer. It, they didn't make it clear of how do you adjust the kerning or the spacing in between each letter. I doubt that those are just spaces. There's probably a way to actually adjust that, but I'm not seeing it clearly here. Let's see text maybe. What is this, this headline? So this is to add text. This isn't to adjust existing text. So let's see here. I'm just really not seeing any. Oh, there we go. So they hit it under here. It's so letter spacing. So now I can bring that all the way down. Let's just say I'm gonna bring that to, you know, I wanna bring it right around 60. Let me just go right here. There we go. That's pretty cool. I do like how they did that. And then I can space this evenly. Look at that, I got a pretty decent start to one side. I don't know what that little thing is right there, but that's an error in the logo when I got exported. Let me see what else I can do to this. So I can animate this. See, I can do transparency. There's a couple things I can do here. I can flip, I can crop, but I don't really need to change that. What I wanna do next is I wanna change out this image. So I right clicked, I can detach the image. I wonder how you swap the image out, how I can swap it. Let's see. So photos, images, doesn't look, so let's see here. 
this is the photo. So let's see if I can find a different photo. Nope, see, it just inserted another one. So let's see, what is this? Yeah, so that's the photo in the background. I can adjust that. See, if I wanna change it, effects, filter, adjust, crop, it doesn't really, I can just delete it, I guess. Delete image. Look at that, there's a template placeholder in the back behind there. So I guess I wonder if I can just drag a new image inside of here. Let's see here, right click. Nope, I can just right click and delete it. And then what I would need to do is insert a new photo. So let's find here, uh, graphic design. There we go. That's pretty cool. I want something that's gonna look great in the background. Something pretty artistic like this. Look at that, that's freaking cool. Bring that up there, bring that up. And I'll send this to the back. I'm sure there's a way to send it to the back. Yep, send send to back, like that. And then I bet you there's some filters here. So look at that, see filters? I've done this a lot over the years, as you can tell. So you can adjust your filters and then you could probably also adjust some other things here in the, under the effects. So you can do a background remover, photogenic, duotone, shadows, liquify, screen. Let's see, connect. Let's see here. So you can change that background pretty simply here. Actually, you know what, I'm, I gotta say, I, I think this is pretty neat so far. Um, it's pretty easy to use, it's pretty intuitive. I can see why a lot of people are using it. It's very user friendly, it didn't take me long to, to figure it out. Um, I would love to adjust this, yeah, so you can change the count of how many lines you want. That's really neat. There's some really good stuff here. Number of lines, right? I can fade this out a little bit. If you can add more noise or take more noise away, that's pretty neat. I just hit apply. I like that, I like that a lot. Now, how do you adjust the transparency or the filter of that? So let's see here, you got selfie, grayscale. There we go, so the intensity, right? So you can change and adjust the intensity of that image. Now my image disappeared. I don't know if that's temporary or what the deal is, but looks like I can do that. And I hit, my whole image went bye-bye. So let me go back. Um, there we go, it's back. And maybe, what is this? This is the background. So it looks like you can drop in backgrounds as well. I see, so you have this background layer, you have your elements. So I already showed you the photos piece. So if I wanted to add something one of these stickers or something, an element to it, which I don't need to, doesn't look like. I mean, there's probably some cool ones in here, but there's a lot of elements. I could type in like um, logo design and see what pops up. See, and you have some like cool graphics like this. And I'm sure you can totally adjust. You can adjust stuff. I can put this over here in the corner, right? Do something creative like that. I'd probably want to change this background back out. Let me just switch it to something else. Here we go, let's see here. Oh, that's cool. See, I like color, see, there we go. And then I could just take this, I can flip flop the color from that to white. Boom, and pop that in the corner there. And I mean, that's not necessarily what you would have to do. I was just showing you, you can drop some elements in here. And then you have your text, you have headings, subheadings. So they actually broke it down to the different styles. And then you have some of these custom ones that you get as part of Pro. So it's like, these are basically like swatches like they have in Facebook or on Facebook in, um, in Adobe, they have swatches and like stylings, so you can add all these stylings to it and it's gonna save you a lot of time. This definitely can speed up the process for graphic designers. Here's styles. So these are text styles, right? And you could probably make your own, I'm sure, inside of Pro. Yep, see, so you can start your own brand. So I can put A420427 as my main color. Brand logos, see, this is really neat. I really like this. I gotta say, for what I've seen so far, let's see here, videos. Look at that, that's really neat. Um, let me type in graphic design. So far, every time I've typed in graphic design, they've had something. So I can even cool, put a cool graphic design video in the background. What is more? So you got Pexels, you can add integrations. So there's even integrations to other programs, Flickr, HubSpot. This is really, really neat. I gotta say, I'm very impressed with the templates. I didn't make the world's greatest business card, but this is a simple start. Just to show anybody that's never done graphic design before, how simple it is. I definitely see this kind of taking hold. Uh, and then you just really, literally can hit print business cards. That's incredible. Premium paper, and you can print them right out of the program. That, look at, it even does a mock-up for you. That is phenomenal. I've never, this is honestly what I was envisioning for Instagraphics about 10 years ago. So Canva beat me to the punch. They built an amazing program. My hat's off to them. T 
t-shirts, canvases. There's so much that you can do here. I want to highly encourage you to check out Canva. If you haven't yet, this is going to speed up the process. You can drop in PNGs and graphics and you can build stuff, make videos, animate things. Let's check out the animations real quick before we wrap this up. Look at that. That is so cool. There is a lot of great stuff. Now, obviously, if you want to do something custom, this is not the program, like a custom animation. I doubt that you're going to be able to create a custom animation in here. You could probably make some adjustments, but this is a really, really great tool, especially if you're new to graphic design and you want to make nice stuff. I would highly recommend you check out Canva. Um, I'm going to compare this. I'm going to give this uh, a head to head and we're going to do a back to back design competition here soon with somebody on Photoshop versus Canva and see who can come up with a better design. We'll put Brian on it and I will do one and we'll record it and we'll make a cool video for you guys. If you guys want to see that, drop a comment down below. Let me know you want to see a design competition between Photoshop and Canva and I'll get that going. But this is a great introduction. Thank you guys so much for watching. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. I'm Adrian Boisel and as always, keep looking up.